Deputy Cairns. Thank you, Chair. Um, so I welcome the inclusion of school transport as a topic before the committee as kind of recognition of the vital role it plays, especially in rural Ireland. However, the topic did only get a kind of passing mention in, in the opening statement. Um, the work of planning a return to education offers a new opportunity, I think, to consider how our schools operate and how greater equity and support can be added. I think it's an opportunity to review the school transport scheme. Um, which isn't working for, for many families and which is a substantial cost for many other families too um, in West Cork and I think across rural Ireland. Um, and I think we need reform for the remote area grant, which really is insufficient to cover costs, especially for island communities. Um, so I'm wondering what assurances you can give us that the cost of school transport won't be increased um, and that the remote area grant will not be affected by additional costs of socially distanced travel. That's my first question. Um, uh, Deputy, thank you. Um, we, we are leaving the arrangements for school transport in place as, as they are at the moment for, for this school year, uh, for the forthcoming school year. So arrangements inter, in relation to the remote area grant and eligibility and concessionary travel and so on are remaining the same. We have to work through the complexities of implementing the health advice with Bus Aaron. We are committed to reviewing. We had a, a review underway already. On, uh, we've, which we're in the process of commencing in relation to the school transport scheme. Many of the issues that, that you have mentioned there are, are fall to be part of the review and also that has been raised obviously in the programme for government and we will have to look at the terms of reference for the review that we have in place having regard to the programme for government to seek to, to, to work further on school transport. Do you want to add anything? Yeah, no. um, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm glad to hear the review but I, I suppose I hope it's a speedy one for people in island communities a review doesn't feel like a big reassurance at the moment, I think. Um, your statement acknowledges that social distancing will require a maximum use of school space. Um, with that, I suppose an issue arises again for, for small schools, mainly primary schools in rural areas, uh, which have limited capacity. Um, for example, mine only had two classrooms, it still does. So I'm wondering in these cases, what measures are the department going to take to ensure sufficient capacity um, to provide a safe learning environment in smaller schools? Uh, Deputy, thanks. Um, as, as Mr Loftus said, we're, we're working on options for classroom layouts um, and we would be working with, with schools to enable classroom layouts, maximising the space within, within the classroom uh, and su supporting this, the, pr the provision of PPE and hygiene equipment and so on to ensure that the classroom environments are, are as safe as possible. In, in, our, in our work with, with the primary stakeholders, I think we're confident that we can manage this together and I think that we're, that we're working through it and we're very conscious of the, of the nature and, and difference of the different types of schools within, within our system and the difference between the small rural and the big urban and we, we are trying to work on, on, on a variation of options to support and assist them to assist them all and for example an issue that uh, Deputy O'Reardon has, has just referred to in relation to substitution that would be a particular issue in a, in a small school if, say, there were two or three teachers, how, if a teacher was un, unable to attend at short notice, how that we could ensure that a substitute was in place. There are exactly the sorts of issues that we need, we need to work through. Thank you. Um, I'll just, I have two more points. I'll just lump them in together because of time constraints. But I'm also wondering what guidelines are in place for ASD and other special uh, units as they prepare to return in September, I suppose, due to particular needs. Um, sometimes closer interactions are necessary um, with teachers and SNAs and students. Um, so I'm wondering what guidance and protection will be in place for them, um, for SNAs and for students and for both their families. Um, the other thing I'm curious about is what level of engagement have you had with the Irish Second Level Students Union? Um, as representatives of students, I think they should be key to drafting any plans or protocols. Um, I think it should be noted that the, the ISSU and the USI needs to be asked to speak before this committee so we can all learn from them. Um, maybe start at the end first, Deputy. You, you can be assured uh, that uh, we have got to know our colleagues in the ISSU very well in, in the last few months, whether it's Ruben, the current president, or, or, the, or the previous president. Um, and we have been working very, very closely with them. And I think this committee would recognise that that the student voice we may perhaps is having a coming of age at the moment in, in the current discussions and debates and that their voice and 
uh, on the calculator grades uh, was was really uh, was was a really important voice and and the nature of their engagement with their members. So they are part of our our engagement, as indeed parents are, and we have to be care we have to be careful. We have to find different ways of engaging with with parents and students, and indeed beyond the representative bodies, the inspectors have very good ways of linking in with groups of students and getting the. the, the Thanks so much. I'm just quickly, because the time, just wanting, just a quick update on for ASDs, SNEs, um, yeah. um, closer interactions sometimes necessary, and just guidance and equipment for that. Our our. The work that we're doing on layouts will also cover ASD units. Uh, we're, we're conscious of the, the number of students, obviously, in an ASD unit is, is smaller than in, in a typical classroom, but there are a number of more adults there. And I think that the nature of the protections that, that, that will need to be put in place for staff have to be ones that don't come against the interaction between that member of staff and the student. That's very, very important. We're very conscious that the students here are the students that need the most support have missed out the most from the, that lack of engagement and we need to make sure collectively and I know the stakeholders are, are together and we're all very conscious of that we need to make sure that collectively that the return to schooling enables and enhances uh, their development and their and their learning thank you okay.